Hi, uh, I was uh, just talking about uh, how I attempt to in interact with people. Like I said, for the most part, when I uh, interact with people, I, my intention is to keep it lighthearted, to have fun with them. Yeah. My daughter, Amy, 17, I think? I think so. Um, we went into the local ski shop down here, and the owner is just a delightful guy. He spent time in the States. His English is real good. Uh, we always laugh when we're together. Uh, we have been promising each other a cup of coffee for oh, about a half a year, maybe a year, maybe two years. Uh, but um, my daughter, we went in to pick up a snowboard, and he got talking to Amy. And I said, well, you know, she's in Hasleyberg, which Hasley, Hasleyberg is another part of Switzerland. It's on the other side. It's where two of my kids went to an American school uh, in uh, to and my daughter is going in the German system over there to get her matura, which is like her high school degree, but different. And uh, the school has a lot of activities. Uh, in the mornings, they uh, do a lot of physical things. They ski a lot. They go ski touring. They do rock climbing. Uh, and they're really it's it's a school that demands a lot of movement. And, and then they have their school there as well. And my daughter said in the first three weeks she learned as much as she did the, in the one year here in the Swiss Matura system. Now we were talking to Peter Capre, the owner of the ski shop, and uh, I said, you know, she's going there because it's more fun for her. It's expensive, uh, but I said she would go to the school. She would leave on, at the house at 6.30 in the morning to catch the bus, to catch the train, to get to school. She would spend time there, she would come home around 6.30, and she would immediately do a couple or a few hours of homework. And uh, it was a lot of stress, a lot of testing, uh, and for a 15, 16 year old, one of the things I remember about high school is just how much fun I had. I did well in high school, uh, obviously I went on to university and got my doctorate. Uh, it wasn't that I didn't work, it was that it was a time when I knew I was supposed to be having fun. Now I went to high school and worked full time. Uh, so there was some stress, but for the most part, I really enjoyed the people and uh, the social interactions. Uh, my daughter at this new school was so much happier, and that's what I was saying to her. I said, this is life. You know, it's her life. Uh, why should we, when we have a choice, have her be under so much stress uh, and in a system that doesn't enhance her vitality or enhance her life, and uh, when we can afford to send her someplace else? Uh, and Peter got laughing. And he said, okay, now we, we do have to have lunch. Come on, let's, let's set a date. And I said, why? And he said, because the way you think. He said, you want to have fun. And that's, that's one of the main things in life. If life isn't fun, why are you living it? I mean, if you're not doing what you want to do, why are you doing what you're doing? Are you doing it for money? Does that make any sense? Uh, my daughter has a goal in mind. She wants to get this degree, this educational degree. And I admire that. Uh, but I want it to be, if we can manage it, the most fun that she can have. Uh, and why not? She's a kid. Uh, most people overlook that one aspect of life. And I, as you know, think it's the most relevant one. Uh, what's fun for you? What do you want to do? What do you want to get paid to do? Uh, what is it that when you're doing it, uh, you don't exist? Uh, or if you do, you exist in such a way that you really, really like you. Those are the questions I ask, um, and we just play with that. Have a fun day, www.micpeakperformance.com.